Okay, so we're out at Point Addis, walking through the bush of Australia looking for a nice shot. The ground's a bit crusty underfoot. Not coming out towards what I think might be a good location. Oh yeah. Trusty camera in hand. That's the view. That's nice. So can I do any better than that? Some grass trees in front. Nice view of the sea and the cliffs. So what I have here is the Canon 60D camera and the 50mm f1.8 lens. 50mm is the focal length of the lens. There's a description elsewhere on my website. And f1.8 refers to the maximum aperture of this lens, which is reasonably wide, which means that you don't have to um, use long shutter speeds in low light. You, you can use it in low light if you want. The other nice thing about the f1.8 lens is that because it's got such a wide aperture, you can get a very shallow depth of field, so only certain pinpoints of information or picture are in focus and the rest can be out of focus and if that's your your vision you can do that very nicely with the f1.8 lens because it's a prime lens a fixed focal length I don't have any opportunity to zoom in or zoom out on the image behind me so I'm stuck at the moment with the angle of view of this lens now this lens gives you about the angle of view of your standard vision. Forget peripheral vision, just your standard vision from here to here. 50mm is about that. And this particular image behind me could suit that. If it doesn't, I'll have to find another way, another lens, another vision for the scene behind me. The other thing I'm going to do as I frame it up is try using different foregrounds and backgrounds for getting a different uh, impression of the scene. Well, in the end, I actually chose a different lens. I brought the cliffs a lot closer using a zoom lens and made the grass tree the main feature of the image. I think that's made a, a big improvement. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.